In my backpack, I'm making sure to pack a lifelong supply of decaf tea bags, ready for my expedition. With these, I'll never be dehydrated, and I'll always be energised after having a good night's sleep. They are also good for my mental health, as I found that caffeine makes me a lot more anxious. And my phone, so when I get lost, I can ring other people up for help. I put in my bag a portable barbecue, as my best memories are of my family having a barbecue outside. It'll cook my food on my journey and remind me I have family when I'm down. I would pack a leaf blower to clear the way in front of me, but to also declutter my brain on a bad mental health day and get rid of all my worries. I'd also pack my headphones because when listening to artists that talk about the same things that I'm feeling, I feel much more calm than relaxed. After lockdown, I hope we'll remember how everyone was so supportive of the NHS and key workers. After lockdown, I hope we'll remember to take time to discover ourselves, allowing us to grow as people and find out more about what we love. After lockdown, I hope we'll remember how everyone came together and supported each other. Friends checking in and families organising quizzes to keep entertained to appreciate spending time with friends and family more. The person who I really am under the surface. To talk to people. To take time, to take a break for ourselves and realise that everything doesn't revolve around work or the grades you achieve. To use our voices. How so many people stood together at a time of crisis to help each other through this. The exciting things happening in space and space travel. After lockdown, I hope we'll remember the sense of community and connections we all had. In normal life, you know, before lockdown, I wouldn't say I connected that much. However, now I've never been more connected with as many people before. Even the people who you wouldn't necessarily think about contacting, they just pop up in your mind. Instead of us all using social media as something negative, the entire world has just all came together and connected more in a positive way. How we evolved to meet on Zoom instead of in real life. How we can achieve what we want to, in order to make the world a better place for everyone. To enjoy the outdoors more. How lucky we all are to live in a rural area and to have outdoor space to be in to continue a greater sense of community. That just one person, one action, can make all the difference. And we should never give up, even if we feel alone. The feeling of togetherness and the way people try to divide us as people. To slow down and stop, reflect and bring ourselves back to the present. To keep on thinking about others, and looking out for the most vulnerable members of society. We need to continue to cherish the simple joys in life we've been reminded of and make sure we're always in contact with those around us. To say yes to things and stop holding ourselves back. To keep engaging with politics, with the world and with current affairs. To use our voices and be heard. To appreciate everything and everyone in our lives. Thank you.